<laughs> well, you know us. We're the uh, <laughs> we're uncut Vermont, bro. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Uncut Vermont podcast <laughs> today. <laughs> Warning, this video contains flashing lights, discussion of disturbing events, and cold, hard facts. Sheep and Google debunkers be warned, you are in danger of having your mind blown. Welcome back to the Uncut Vermont Podcast. What is going on, Truth Seeker Nation? It's me, Milo Rizzi, from the Uncut Vermont Podcast. And today, I got a fucking truth bomb for you. So I thought to myself, while I work on scripting my episode on how Atlantis is real, I would just do a quick, easy video, you know, a real crowd pleaser. So I thought it would be a great idea to talk about this guy. Now, all of you in the truth seeker nation already know and love Philip Zeba. He is one of the only people on TikTok who is not afraid to speak his mind. A giant skeleton over 23 feet tall, uncovered in Ecuador and 100% confirmed real, which was later dismissed as an ancient slime. Sloth? Like, come on, they're they're just making shit up at this point. He spits nothing but cold, hard opinions. Seriously, the top Egyptologists claim this is how they cut granite back then. They were using some other unknown cutting technique, possibly far more advanced than even our diamond-tipped buzzsaws. And research? Not a fucking lick of it. The Google debunkers will tell you, oh, it's a natural mountain formation formed through erosion. Now here at the Uncut Vermont podcast, we all know that there's nothing I respect more than a guy who's willing to say something even though it's not true. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna go over Philip's entire channel. I'm going to meticulously meticulously compile all of his truth bombs so I can share them with you. And so that's exactly what I did. And oh my God, you people will not fucking imagine the things he says. I'm gonna give it to you raw. 10 undisputable facts that absolutely double penetrate pyramid deniers. But this video essay, not unlike the Uncut Vermont podcast, is gonna be long and raw. So I thought to myself, while this video's on the editing table, I wanna do some research of my own. I decided to take a page out of Philip's book. The original height of the pyramid around 146.73 meters is virtually an exact scale of the distance between the Earth and the Sun on the perihelion. And what I uncovered will blow your mind. So biddies and alpha males, I want to welcome you guys back to this very special episode of the Uncut Vermont Podcast, where today I'm going to be telling you the truth about the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. Yeah. And if we were like connecting that to like something over here. Some info down here, but I think it connects to something over here. <laughs> Way, way. How not level is that? that actually hey, that works great. Down. And that nail's probably more in there than this thumbtack yeah. is about to be. <laughs> you have like four hammers behind you. That is the biggest of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing precision <laughs> shit here. <laughs> okay, when we sit down, it is just our heads. Hello, everybody. Honestly, it kind of adds to how fucking shitty it looks. <laughs> yeah. But I okay. feel like we should do like a preliminary. I was gonna say, I think we should have like a, a like, tiny bit of prep for thought. The good thing is, we can get the math wrong, and people <laughs> won't know if it's we, part of the bit or not. We should just throw one in there that's like really wrong. <laughs> we like, should. like really fucking wrong. Some jump where it's like this, which is two times this, which it just completely isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I would say we're pretty much ready to go. There's a, there's a key ingredient. There's a key there's ingredient a, here. There's something. The one problem is we are in the one room with a smoke detector. That could be changed. <laughs> Put this in a safe place. I'll keep it in the microwave. <laughs> we can sort of use this as like our master sheet. The volume of it, the yeah. height of it, the length yeah. of all the sides, like all like the statistics of it. Chat GPT, give me all of the stats <laughs> of the Bass Pro Shop <laughs> Honestly, Pyramid. That would be a great way to do it. Bro. Damn, it's going off. I said, what are all the numbers associated with the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid? Give me the height, the size, the cost, the capacity, attractions. That's not a number. <laughs> Stunning view of the Mississippi River. <laughs> that would not fly in number. <laughs> Species. Indoor swamp is home to more than 600,000 gallons of water and houses various fish species. Well, that's that's something. 600,000 gallons this of water. This is more than. More than. Can okay, so any number? <laughs> any number greater than 6,000. It's like a wild card. It's a freebie. <laughs> it's in Memphis, right? Yeah. Oh. Memphis, Memphis. like Memphis, Egypt? That's too easy. <laughs> 321 feet tall, that's pretty suspicious. 321? Yeah. I mean, think about that. 90s, oh, another thing we need to do is go between like meters and feet when convenient. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> we should give like all of the things in like different units. <laughs> Start reading me some numbers. Let's go. Okay. Hold on. Let from me, let me get a, from, from chat GPT alone. Um, the height is 321 feet. Covers an area of 535,000 square feet. According to chat GPT. <laughs> It reportedly cost around $195 million. Can accommodate up to 10,000 people. <laughs> oh my God. Could you give me people in metric? <laughs> French people. <laughs> okay. The retail space within the pyramid spans around 20,438 square meters. Square meters. Yeah. The pyramid houses the Big Cypress Lodge. Okay. Which offers over a hundred rustic themed rooms and suites. What's that in smoots? <laughs> <laughs> over a hundred is a little too big here. I'm gonna ask for specifics on how many rooms. How many rooms? Okay, sounds good. It's just over a hundred? Really? Over a hundred. <laughs> it says the pyramid's indoor swamp is home to more than 600,000 gallons of water and has a variety of species of fish, alligators, and turtles. So how much water? 600,000 gallons. A couple basic numbers. We, we got some really important okay. ones, like we occupancy, need... retail yeah. space. Yeah. But okay. we should get some lesser ones, yeah. you know? Like, like... how many aisles? <laughs> <laughs> what departments are <laughs> Yeah, what store? departments? <laughs> Who's working there right now? <laughs> I know we, we, we started this as a joke, but... Oh no. It said the exact volume of the indoor swamp within the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee, is not readily available in public sources. That is a us. smoking gun oh right there. God. We're putting that pin up on the board it, and right now. And then going back into saying there's 600,000 gallons okay. of water. We, we We've know. been over the citation yeah, needed. Yeah, that might be, that might just be the number they tell people. Yeah, but we don't actually know. We yeah. don't know how deep it goes. Yeah. Drain the swamp. <laughs> there's something in the swamp. <laughs> Do we have like the length of the like, the oh, sides? Yeah. Um, 731. 0.58 feet. Is ChatGPT doing math based on the numbers that it already told us? I believe it. So I, I don't need to, to check it. Accurate. Yeah, I mean, we're making a pyramid conspiracy here. Yeah. We don't have to think into it too much. Okay. What are the coordinates? coordinates? We need the coordinates. Yeah. We absolutely need the coordinates. 35 degrees, 0.1495 north. 90.0490. Man, that's pretty close to 90. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible to get the length of the... I was wondering. The, the slope? I don't give a shit about the Pythagorean theorem. Give me <laughs> 895.89 feet. I feel like that's a good jumping off point. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm confident with that. Honestly, maybe just a quick Bass Pro Shops pyramid wiki page. Yeah. Search. See if there's anything else that, Anything you know, that stands out? Looks a little, little, little suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it fits in a little too well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the address, <laughs> one Bath Pro Drive. <laughs> oh, dates, dates, what am I thinking? Oh Holy my shit. God. Groundbreaking. September 15th, 1989. Opened. November 9th, 1991. And this could be key. <clears throat> I almost looked over it, but it was renovated between November 2011 and April 2015. Do we really think they were renovating, renovating in yeah. there? Renov for how many years was that? That was for four years. Bullshit. Also, if I were fact check checking, I would say that the cost is wildly off, <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cost on there? The original cost was 65 million. <laughs> okay, there's some former uses and events that I think we could dive into later. The Memphis City Council voted to keep the arena open in 2004. A committee by headed by Memphis businessman Scott Ledbetter studied possible <laughs> uses. <laughs> Scott Ledbetter. <laughs> that is not how you spell that, is it? Scott Ledbetter? That is exactly how you spell it, actually. Fuck <laughs> yes. That is how it is done. Scott Ledbetter, I'm on to you. Keep that on the back, bro. Oh, we're gonna that, keep that one gonna in there. We're gonna come back. We're gonna... Make it I mean, that's food for thought. That's food for thought. That makes you think. Yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're just asking we're questions We're just here. asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just want to know the truth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's no harm in the truth. We're gonna have to do a little bit of digging on Mr. Ledbetter, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Bet he was up to some shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's go prepare ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exact measurement of the speed of light in a vacuum to nine digits. Three to 99.7 range of accuracy. We need to have really, really low accuracy. accuracy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Within like a 15% accuracy. 0.1% 147 million kilometers. The ratio to its height, the Earth's circumference <laughs> the equator, third of a percent. Now, if you get the perimeter, multiply them by that number, the circumference and polar radius 99.3, 99. .3, 99 <laughs> What's the prompt question you asked it? If the pyramid, the Bass Pro Shop, were built out of the same bricks as the Pyramid of Giza used, 
Oh. How many bricks would it be? Fuck, there's math here. There's a lot of math. Oh my god. To estimate the number of bricks for the, the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid, we can use the Great Pyramid's dimensions for comparison. Okay, we're not gonna read the description. So. Fuck no. Okay. 127 million, 588,000, 214.72. Do you think that's just an accident? Fuck no. That is it. Fuck no, that is not an accident, dude. Nothing is an accident. There, there's messages hidden everywhere, Henry. Give me that fucking number again. How do I even write this as a statistic? <laughs> <laughs> number of bricks. Number of equivalent bricks. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah. I'll even do a little hashtag to shorten it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number of 127, 588, 214.72. I wasn't sure if this was gonna go anywhere. Maybe there's not anything here, but when I saw that number, it's damning. I, I mean, you see it, right? I see it. It's, it's plain as day. <laughs> <laughs> Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. <laughs> Just a big red circle around that number. That's thumbnail. <laughs> that is going to the thumbnail, absolutely. 0. 0.72, like a huge circle around it. <laughs> Should write down like some other Earth's oh, constants. Just, yeah. Like Basic, speed of light, yeah. speed of sound. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I told you we were gonna call it constants. <laughs> Feet of light, we gotta have. Feet of light, just can't live without it. Gets really dark once you start messing with that. 99,792,458 meters per second. Ask ChatGVT what the most important numbers are. <laughs> I want categories of certain numbers. I want certain numbers. <laughs> exact numbers. In all those fields, which are the most Important. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Mathematical constants. We got pi. Oh, that's a big. That's, a, that's, that's important. Pi is an important thing. Wait, can you ask ChatGPT <laughs> to recite every digit of pi? I want as many digits as you can recite. Oh, come on. That's fucking lame, dude. More. You can <laughs> hey, <laughs> <Even> more. <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> Okay, are you ready to write the first 500 digits of pi? <laughs> Wait, how did I do? Oh. 3.141592? I don't know, I'm kind of far, <laughs> far down here. <laughs> Struggling. 3.141592655. Fuck. Five. Okay. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Okay. 265. 265358789. Okay, stop. Nine, <laughs> seven. <laughs> That's a good Patreon exclusive. Writing down the first 500. <laughs> <laughs> digits of pi. No, it's like a, it's an editor's clip cut of this <laughs> session, except you just don't stop writing. <laughs> yeah, in the normal video, it just like does a sudden cut and the wall is just fucking covered. Okay, I'm gonna go through the different. Give me the list. I'll give you the Lay list of uh, categories and you'll you'll tell me. It'll be like Jeopardy. All right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, each category has three. Mathematical <laughs> constants for 3.141599. And then we got historical dates, scientific constants, mm. economic indicators, personal identifiers. Okay, those aren't actual numbers. Can you ask it to give it's you like someone's GDP. social security number? <laughs> uh, physical constants. Oh. Geographical coordinates. Ethical and moral values. Okay, those aren't, <laughs> those aren't numbers. Wait. The gravitational constant. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's What's the point eight one meters per second squared. You just knew that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, 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 no. You just, what was it? That's it. Um, and then we got Planck's constant. Oh, oh, I like that guy. P-L-A-N-C. Um, um, C-K. It really? Yeah. It's Plank? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought he was like a cool well, French like, guy. I didn't know his, he, his, he was named after like a trucker. That is not, wait, P-L-A-N-C-K. Plank. 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 <laughs> Plank. Plank's constant. <laughs> Approximately. Uh-huh. Six point, you're gonna need a little bit of space. <laughs> okay. Six point six two. Six zero seven, and there's also physical constants. If we wanted, there's <laughs> physical Avogadro's constant. number. Oh, um, we gotta throw Avogadro's number up there, dude. Been asking for Avogadro's number for years. He won't <laughs> give it to me. Six point zero two two times ten to the twenty three particles okay. per mole. P. 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 <laughs> Just write ppm. <laughs> Parts per million. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Fuck Avogadro's <laughs> number. <laughs> it is now for measuring concentration. Can you imagine that number of parts per million? 
<laughs> I feel like we have a good yeah. jumping off yeah. point. Okay. I think the circumference of the Earth could be. Uh, oh, could be oh, a, honestly. You want this in kilometers or miles? <laughs> Fuck if I care. <laughs> Twenty-four thousand nine hundred and one miles. Let's do some investigative journalism. What's the address? One. <laughs> what? Are those columns? Like you'd see like outside of like a temple? I mean, Bass Pro, it's it's about the water, the fish. I mean, where would the fish enter if there's an entrance to the Bass Pro shop? It would, be, it would be as if the it, fish are entering into the temple. From from the mouth of the mighty Wolf River River Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we gotta write this down. Um, yeah. Can you get a post-it or, you know, something? We, we have what are clear evidence of some sort of much older civilizations temple ruins yeah. right there on the water. Make a cameo, Louis, everyone loves you, come on. You can go back to staring at that cabinet later. <laughs> Stick that up there. Stick that up there. We're just gathering evidence yep. right now. We're yep. gathering we're just, evidence. We're just state. asking questions. <laughs> we're just looking around. Nothing to see. Here, Nothing to folks. see. <laughs> Sir, why are you crawling are you around in the mighty Wolf <laughs> River Harbor? <laughs> We can see a, a difference in structure here. We clearly have some sort of pyramid cap on it, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. likely made of a different material that yeah. suits my interests. Let me ask you this. If you were to place an antenna anywhere in a pyramid... I mean, being a rational kind of guy, I'd put it at the highest point. And what's the highest point of a pyramid? <laughs> Look, no one said doing this was easy, okay? Yeah. It's thankless work, it's thankless work. If this was easy, people would be doing out this just like <laughs> out there willy-nilly with no effort required. We don't do this because it's easy. We do it because it's right. <laughs> we can take a little step outside. Reignite the, uh, the brain juices. Spirit. I do, I feel like, I don't know, a little fresh air would help. Yeah, I agree. A little, a little fresh air fresh would air. help. <laughs> okay. We're not doing anything too high. Actually, because I mean, first we know that there's obviously a connection between the lines of the um, Bath Pro Shops pyramid and the one in Washington D.C. The Washington Monument. Five hundred fifty-five feet. feet. Okay. Yeah. That's a little suspicious. That is. That is a very suspicious looking number. I just noticed the third of these obelisks on this list, the Gateway Arch, 192 meters tall. Do you know what happened in 1992? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> but I bet you have GPT does. <laughs> what happened in 1992? What are some major events that happened in 1992? There was a presidential election in the US. Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's the height? Okay, 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 okay. Walk me through this. Okay. The third obelisk on the list of the highest obelisks in the US is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, if we add 555 feet to 192 <laughs> meters, we're getting somewhere. We're going. <laughs> you know what happened in 1992? Bill Clinton was elected as the 42nd president of the United States. <laughs> where are the sticky notes? Here. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Put this on the board. Something tells me he's closer to Scott Beaver. <laughs> Led be led better than anything else. <laughs> Begin to fall into place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just make sure there's nothing else that happened that's noteworthy. But then I, I think I have a lead. Just as Clinton, our boy Clinton over here, was getting into office. Do you know what was formed? The European Union. <laughs> We're onto something. We're onto something. I don't fucking know what. <laughs> as well as. This is too easy! In 1992, not only President Lincoln, <laughs> President Clinton elected to office, the EU was formed, collapsed at the Soviet Union. <laughs> It does say, while the process began in the late 18, 1980s, the dissolution of the Soviet Union continued in 1992, so... I don't know if this is the exact date that it ended, but... ChatGPT has it on the list, so... Okay, this is coming together. <clears throat> Henry, where's the red string? <laughs> Here, give me one. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Wow. Honestly, that ended up a string much more than I thought yeah, it was gonna that, be. It's all part of the plan, baby. I just have one question left at this at this juncture. In this in this fact finding phase, mm -hmm. what was Scott Ledbetter doing in 1992? <laughs> I almost Googled something. I was oh, I was what, close. What the fuck is wrong with you? As of my last update in January 2022, there is no widely known or public figure. Named Scott Ledbetter. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Okay, there's a chance this is a different Scott Ledbetter, but he was in Need for Speed. <laughs> wait, this is actually a great way of doing this. We run with this for a while, all we need to do is find a way to get to 1992, like, legit. Because that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all of this is, is fucking, that's the fulcrum that holds all of this together. Yeah. Let's not act like that's good, and even by conspiracy standards. Because we could get that number. So mm -hmm. we need to see what happens if we actually connect all these points on the map to see what the secret code is that's hidden in it, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank Louis. Where is the arch? I will type arch into the search bar. There we go. Okay, explain to me how I went to St. Louis, Missouri, typed in arch, and it brought me to whatever the fuck this is. We got all three of our points of interest marked. This is <coughs> that's our pyramid. With. Whoa, those are on a pretty similar line, actually. St. Louis and Memphis, like if you went, wow. you know. Can you find the um, coordinates of the St. Louis arch? 38.62512, negative 90.18675. Wait, hold on. That's really fucking close. That's really fucking close. That's really fucking close. How close are they? Can we draw like a latitude line? Yeah, I guess you could subtract and figure out by how many degrees they're off. They are off by 0. 0.1 degrees. Wow. Wow. 0.1 degrees. That's okay. Holy shit. Wow. There is something. There is something happening here. How do we put this up? Okay, we, okay. things are starting to develop now. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing some red herrings here. We yeah. can come back to them. We can come back to them. Put They're them on there. the side. But right now, we have a lead and we need to run with it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Is this? Yeah. And now we have the arch. Okay. Trust me. Okay. That's what okay, it looks that's like. That's going to be the top top left. The Washington Monument. Well, I'll arrange these yeah, yeah, kind of as it as it is call, in the U.S. Good call. Good call. Between these two, a 0 0.1 degree difference, which is negligible. Negligible. I mean, negligible. statistically insignificant. What do we do with this? We research, <clears throat> Henry. We research. We need to know more about this arch. Give me some stuff about the arch. Okay. I'm opening chat GPT. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Let me check, I'll check the wiki for the base info. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT for the wiki information. <laughs> what what info do we, construction dates? Why don't you give us some of those? Just, just okay. rattle them off. Okay. We're just asking questions. We're just asking questions, we're just collecting data. The groundbreaking was February 12th in 1963. It was completed October 28th, 1965. It was inaugurated June 10th, 1967. That is. Wow. Three shots and making a date means something. Its height is also its width. Wow. Which makes sense because it's an arch, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an appropriate application of wow. So we know that there is... We don't have to explain the point one degree off any further. What the fuck am I talking about? That's enough. It can just be one point. Yeah. We know that they're significant because they are that close. Yeah. Now we go from there. We're done with lines. We've proven that there is a, a, There's a correlation. There's a connection. We've made a connection. They are less than 0. 0.1. Or, yeah. Sorry. A little bit more than 0. <laughs> 0.1. Less than 0. 0.2. <laughs> so it's around, and then I messed up. <laughs> and then we got 0. 0.1, and that's degree. Wow. <laughs> I... <laughs> Another excellent use of the word wow. <laughs> We're on to something. <laughs> Just asking questions. <laughs> I wish we could find more on Scott Ledbetter. We're gonna put him in the corner. Yeah. Scott Ledbetter, come back when you have more to say. <laughs> we need another connection. We need a third point. We need to find another solid link. We don't really, we already found that. I mean, that's enough. <laughs> but... That alone could be a coincidence. If we find, if we find this to here. If we find this to here and that to that, would be, that would be that's, that's airtight. <laughs> QED, okay. proven. That line is that straight. That means this line is also really straight because that's a right angle then. Yeah, coordinates for the coordinates Washington Monument. Coordinates for the Washington Monument. Monument. What are we doing? Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. <laughs> this first number might sound kind of familiar to you. Don't tell. 38. 38.88948. Let's write the other one before we get ahead of ourselves. I don't know. I think, I'm not going to say anything. We're going to delve into it, but man. But that's, it's ringing a bell. That's yep, okay, saying. okay. We're just asking questions. Negative 77.03527. 
So we know that they're they're very close. I mean, it is, it, you, I mean you were honestly kind of onto something when you said it's a right angle because this line is basically straight. I mean, that's like less than two. Okay, more than two. More than two, <laughs> more than point two of a degrees yeah. of difference. Yeah. Yeah. And this, as you can see clearly on this note, is about 0.1 degree of difference. Why is there a right angle made between these two lines when you're connecting the arch, the monument, to the pyramid? I think that honestly, the arch might be the more important thing here. I think we tried to go for the small fish. Yeah. We accidentally stumbled on the whole damn herd of them. <laughs> In all honesty though, that is kind of wild. That I is kind of wild. I was not expecting to find anything that good. Yeah. Like it's not much, but that is like a right angle. That's like a right angle. <laughs> to be fair, there is no reason why we would be connecting these three things. We have established that this forms a perfect right triangle. Put the string. Put the string. Here's some string. Mm. You need to cut it. Here's uh, some kitchen scissors <laughs> and some thumbtacks. Mm. We know that's a triangle. If one thing is for certain, we should we should label this connection. Stretch them. The police. <laughs> Stretch them. <laughs> this for here mm -hmm. is. 0.264. If you round that, that's about that's about 0.2 degrees off. Really? Yeah, they're like about as statistically insignificant as that. We are okay. asking. In the questions. new labels, I think this one was a little closer to 0.2 as well. I think they. Wait, really? That's actually kind of fucking weird. Where do we have the other calculator? That's from this to this. Okay, okay. So, so now we can write down all the information okay. about them. There. We got all the distances between all the the monuments. And then here, this is the longitude of the Bass Pro Shops. And then the Washington Monument, or the difference between the, the two. Uh, and then same with the Gateway Arch and the Washington Monument for the latitude. Damn. Is negligible. That is negligible. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're asking questions, and this one's 0 0.2. Yeah. Those are the nice round ones, because they're on the straight line. But now we get to this one, the problem child. We got yeah. this line. I mean, this on its own, already a lot. Yeah. Well, if we have the distances of all of them, we can get the angles. Oh. Like, do a triangle calculator. Oh, shit. Pretty close to a 90 degree That's angle. That's pretty close that to is, a 90 degree. When you think about it, walk it off. We're making big moves here, all right? It, it's hard for your brain to get this big. You need yeah. to let off some steam every once in a while. Yeah. I think we're trying to over explain, mm -hmm. which is what nerds and scientists do. Mm -hmm. And we don't do that. This is enough. We already have an almost perfect right triangle. We have these numbers. We already have a shape. Now that we have this, we have to figure out what it means. We could look at what's inside the triangle. Let's have a look. And also, I think we should we should just see what's in the area too. See what's in the area. We got we got the map. I like it. Okay. Louisville. Louisville. What's Isn't that the... where the world's biggest bat Baseball. is? Oh my god. The Louisville Slugger. The Louisville Slugger. I think we're finding oh what my we god. bargained for. Where is it? Okay. What are the coordinates of the Louisville Slugger? <laughs> <laughs> look at wait, start figuring out stuff about the Louisville Slugger, Henry. We're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> God. There we go, everyone. The Louisville Slugger. Did you Google that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what fucking year is it, Henry? 2022? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, give me all the important information. The big bat is a 120 foot tall baseball bat shaped structure located at the outside the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. 68,000 pounds well, in 1995. Yeah. Okay. That's so that is the, right around when the Bass Pro Shop was. Here. It was within five <laughs> years. <laughs> it was five years afterwards. That is right at the end of a four-year period. Do you know what happens in four-year periods? No. <laughs> Bill <laughs> So Bill Clinton was president when the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid was built, right? Was he that? was, no, he was. Renovations opened 1991. Okay, so 1991. So your, your thing still works. What were you saying? 1992, 1991, 1995. 1995. <laughs> the Bass Pro Shop opened. One year later, Bill Clinton <laughs> becomes president. Coincidence? Uh, I do not think so. <laughs> and then just three years later, he could do his presidency. The Louisville Slugger gets built. Now what does that, that tell you? That is a cause and affect the situation. This kicked off the the whole Bill Clinton thing. <laughs> oh God, there is totally gonna be a picture of Bill Clinton in this thumbnail. It's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely happening. We go, let's, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out, big picture. Big, big picture. picture. Big bat. <laughs> so let's just walk through what we have so far. Okay. So we started by going for the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, not knowing that it was part of a larger, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's part of something larger than yeah. itself. 
And so we accidentally stumbled onto this whole thing where we found that these are all connected, forming a triangle, with the degrees being, with the, the distances being less than a degree off. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. We know that near the center <laughs> of this triangle is Louisville, Kentucky, home to another iconic American monument, <laughs> the Louisville Slugger. Now, Bill Clinton <laughs> gets elected. I feel like, okay, if we're gonna bring dates into this, we gotta figure out a little bit more. Which sucks, I don't wanna do it. Yeah, okay, we'll okay, okay, okay. okay, yeah, we do, we do. We can't <laughs> Scientific just, method. We can't go jump into collisions here. This is the founding fathers yeah. link. This is like Old Testament United States. These were built in homage to that. You know, this was dedicated on like July 4th, like 1840 or something. We're just asking <laughs> questions. We have this, we and have you want to know who, who was the president in 1963? <laughs> John F. Kennedy. We, I mean, we already know from from everything that the Kennedys are involved in Mind so blowing. many things. Mind blowing. Can we get a connection here? Not really. He kind of he kind of died after, <laughs> after 1963. That, after what did Bill Clinton do in 1995? Well, I mean, I think the obvious connection here is this is less than a year before Bill Clinton was elected president. This was built right before Bill Clinton was elected yeah. president. We're gonna just say Bill Clinton. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so we got a good list going. Things that happened while Bur Bill Clinton was serving as president oh, in 1995. Oh, that is a long <laughs> list. Uh-oh. We first got the Oklahoma City bomb. <laughs> I need to get my computer charger because I, there was something I glanced over in one of the other responses. I think it was a date that the Bosnian War started. No. And in 1995, Bill Clinton helped negotiate the Dayton Agreement, which ended the Bosnian War. The same year as the Louisville Slayer was <laughs> built. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> we are so, so onto something. Everything, everything's pointing to 1992. So we just gotta find how to get to 1992. We just, we just need a solid connection between. Honestly, a solid connection between this, because all of these things are pointing to that. So this should be the thing that lasers into that. I'm gonna look into Scott Ledbetter a little bit. Yeah. I'm curious just to see where it takes us. Do a little bit, a little, little, little bit. There's not even a Wikipedia page. Wow. Reddit unsolved murders. What happened to Caitlin Ledbetter? <laughs> There's no way. There's okay, no let's. Way. 26 year old Caitlin Ledbetter was living in Turkey Town Road in Hillam, Tennessee with her father, Scott Ledbetter. Is that the same guy? Tennessee. Scott Ledbetter. Wait. <laughs> Scott Ledbetter's home, which was on fire. The house is completely destroyed, and Scott's girlfriend, Crystal Tyson, was found dead in the basement. What the fuck? <laughs> wow! I think, as much as I want to commit to the bit, I think just out of respect for this, I think we need to take Scott yeah. better off of here. I can't do that. Yeah. Oh my god! Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> okay! Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go back to the Louisville Slugger. <laughs> We're gonna let the actual conspiracy theorists dig into that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here to talk about the baseball bat. <laughs> you gotta find the, con the connections there. The idea to build the bat could have been formed earlier. I wonder if there's any events in Louisville, Kentucky in 1992. Okay, the Louisville Cardinals did pretty good in <laughs> 1992. <laughs> All we need to do is connect this to that and let let the just asking questions do the rest. Yep. This is yep. enough. This is gold. The, yeah, the cat is out of the bag. Right? Yeah. Does the Bosnian War connect to them? 1995. 1992 to 1995. Dude, asking questions. Asking See questions. When you I ask know. Questions? This is why they don't want you to ask questions. It was built by that company, right? The the company that makes makes the Louisville Slugger. We don't know anything about them yet. I mean, they're, they're the ones who on decided it. in 1995 to construct the Louisville Slugger. The final piece of the puzzle. This to this. I just, I just learned some interesting information. I asked some questions <laughs> to ChatGPT in particular. <laughs> and I learned, I learned 1992, Hillrich and Bradsbury Company, the manufacturers of the famous Louisville Slugger, celebrated the 100th anniversary of the brand, the Louisville Slugger. <laughs> smoking gun. Smoking gun. It does not get more conclusive than that. I mean, the pieces just fall into place. That's the thing is when you ask the questions and you don't stop asking the question till you have an answer, the answer will always present itself. Yeah. <laughs> Holy My shit. God. And I mean, from there, it just 
I mean, the, the dominoes just fall. Yeah. You don't even you, need us to say anything. You, you don't even need to the ask the questions. The just <laughs> It, the information is out there. <laughs> if you do your own research. <laughs> I say we put this stuff down and we do our final presentation. Yeah, let's prepare. Let's prepare. All right, after a long and tedious uh, thinking, after a long and tedious <laughs> thinking process, we're ready to present our findings. We just need to do one last preparation. <laughs> we are ready to present our findings. <clears throat> <laughs> Holy shit. So when we started out, we were asking some questions. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't know what we would stumble upon or which piece of the puzzle we would find. As, as you frequently so often. Yeah, you know? but you need a jumping off place. So we started with the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid and what we uncovered, they don't want you to know. Yeah. They do not want you to know about this. So really astonishing. we found that if you connect the Bass Pro Shops pyramids to other, uh, the, the, the two other major uh, US, you know, iconic monuments, the, you know, the Washington Monument and the St. Louis Arch, <laughs> it forms so much. The two other great US monuments that everyone <laughs> thinks about first. The Washington Monument <laughs> and the St. Louis Arch. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck yeah, first they're, so they're, they're obelisks. They're obelisks. They're obelisks, and so obviously they have a connection. So we obviously started with the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid because there's a lot going on there, and we wanted to ask some questions. So we connected it to, you know, another sort of monument uh, in the same scale as the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, which is obviously, you know, right in plain sight, the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. Now, oddly, if you were to create a almost perfect acute triangle, it would form, it would fall almost exactly on the St. Louis Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Now, the distance Holy in shit. degrees of these two coordinate lines, this one is 0.1 degrees off, and that is just around 0.2 degrees off. Like, those numbers, they don't happen by accident. No, those are, that's statistically insignificant. It's statistically insignificant, exactly. Yeah. And from there, I mean, the obvious next step is to figure out what is at the center of this triangle. Mm -hmm. And sort of near the center is <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh my. The Louisville Slugger. The world's largest bat. <laughs> that is statistically insignificant. I just saw something. What do you get if you double that? 240. Dude, it all makes sense. Where's the fucking red string? <laughs> and uh, this is what I mean. When you ask the questions, the answers present themselves yeah. to you. Now, from here, Henry? The Louisville Slugger was built by... <laughs> a famous American bat-making company. <laughs> Who, in the year of 1992, they celebrated their 100th anniversary of the Louisville Slugger brand. Mm -hmm. The 100th anniversary of this bat, the iconic American bat. Seen pictured here. <laughs> used by Babe Ruth himself at its 100th anniversary in 1992. Yeah. And, I mean, what more do you need to connect it than that? That was when this was constructed. And from there, I mean, the links, the lists just go on and on. I mean, this was completed probably around one year before Bill Clinton was elected president of the United States of America. And this bat was constructed while Bill Clinton was still in office. And from there, again, with the election date in 1992, the, it's watertight. I mean, I mean from <laughs> there, the, cat, the cat's out of the bag yeah. at that point. Like, a lot of very powerful people. I mean, we don't want to talk too much. We started with monuments that are commemorating great times, great shifts of power. Yeah. I mean, the Washington Monument, like that is the a symbol Washington Monument. of American- Dedicated on the 4th of July. No yeah. Less. What is commemorating this monumentous year of 1992? The Louisville Slugger Bat. <laughs> Which is why they built it in 1990. Well, it took them a while. <laughs> Finish the construction. The answers are right in front of your face. All you gotta do, ask some questions. Get some answers. Get some answers. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> now if that didn't just blow your mind, I don't know what will. You guys come to me for the truth and I deliver nothing but- President Lincoln. <laughs> The answers are always out there if you don't stop asking questions. Like, incessantly. Do, even if it doesn't make sense, just keep asking till you force an answer. Now, if you guys, for whatever reason, actually liked this video, well, then I know what you're gonna love. And that is the raw, uncut version. Now available on my second channel, link in the description. 30 minutes of extra gags, bits, and jokes that didn't make it into the final cut. I may have a more uncut version, <laughs> if you follow me. Well, you know us, we're the uh, <laughs> we're Uncut Vermont. We may be the Uncut Vermont podcast, 
but all of us are cut a little bit deep down inside. I also want you alpha males to mark your calendars because one of these Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm debuting this two hour long video essay on Philip Ziba and oh my God, it has been an absolute nightmare to film. I have never done a deep dive into a person's entire channel like this before. And I see why now. Pyramids. Don't y'all get a little half chub when I talk about them? Cause I sure do. So I'd like you guys to fucking smash that like button. Share this video with every single person you've ever met. And make sure to tune in next time when I tell you about the fucking giants that carved Mount Rushmore. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Milo Rizzi. Remember to stay curious, stay inquisitive, and happy April Fool's Day.